To be honest, I don't display a lot of my figures, but for me, this is one figure that has never returned to the box. Hot Toys Superman MMS 343 from Batman vs Superman Dawn of Justice. In this video, we'll be looking at measurements, accessories explained, figure details, mobility, accuracy, the pros and cons in my opinion, with some ratings. The whole box weighs 1.32 kilograms. The angle of the cover makes it way easier to open, but gives the box less protection. Mine is already crushed. The figure weighs 419 grams and 32 centimeters or 12.6 inches tall by itself. With the base, it's 721 grams and 43 centimeters or 16.9 inches tall. It was up for pre order in 2015 and it was released in 2016 between Q2 to Q3. I remember clearly that back then if you order both Batman and Superman, they give you a little accessory as a bonus. Which is the helmet of Batman that appeared in the scene where Alfred was fixing some wires. I of course ordered both, but only the regular versions. The deluxe version of Superman comes with a big piece of Kreponite. The Batman deluxe has a sniper rifle. I didn't feel the need for them judging by the price they were offering. This figure has the least accessories I've ever seen. Nothing but the stand and the exchange hands. But after these many years, it is still one of my favorite figures. There are four pairs of hands in total. The fist, the relaxed, the karate chop, and the I'm about to grab something. The paintings are standard Hot Toys quality. You can clearly see the light pink layer along with some dots, plus the veins. It just makes the hands very much realistic. My favorite part of the figure is that the sleeves almost perfectly cover the ball joints. It's always a chef kiss moment when the joints on your action figures are covered. Even when you bend the arm, it barely shows because the fabric is very, very stretchy. The body mobility is okay flexible considering how muscular the body is. The compatibility of the suit and the body is pretty good. It can hardly be bent to the point that will damage the fabric permanently. I would suggest to let the rubber stripes relax as much as possible or it might fall off eventually. The neck is not movable at all. Be careful with the hairs of the head scope in the back, it might scratch the neck when you turn it the wrong way. And talking about fabric, the one they used on this suit is very thin yet stretchy. You can definitely do some power poses without worrying that the fabric might wrinkle too much. The body on this one is more muscular than the Man of Steel version and is painted silver chrome on the inside. So through the transparency of the suit, it gives a very nice reflective feedback. The detail of the pattern or script on the suit is very well made, especially on the chest part. Where in the movie Man of Steel, Superman's birth father Joel explained the symbol of House L and had some close shots. It's just very cool to sometimes have a closer look at it. The cape is very very soft. Very delicate fabric they use for this one, so be careful not to get hooked on sharp objects. Or the threads can easily come out. It doesn't have any wires in it, so you can't really pose the cape. Uh, personally, I don't mind it at all. It sort of gives a more movie accurate feeling to it. The ankles fabric wrinkles a little bit when standing, but I believe most of us won't post Superman standing at all, so that shouldn't be an issue. The head sculpt is absolutely amazing. Very alike in every angle, from sculpting to painting. It's truly very well done. The depth of the eyes and the shape of the cheeks make the head sculpt look amazing in different lighting environments. The only part that I would complain is that the color of the back of the ears doesn't really match the neck color underneath. But it's an angle that I don't visit often, so it doesn't bother me much. The base is very much posing friendly. It's wide enough to provide balance. The clip is just strong enough to hold the figure. Make sure to clip it right under the chest on the ribs part. It holds better, it prevents further damaging. I'm not a big poser, but since it's Superman, obviously, we gotta try the classic flying pose. But it doesn't really work well on this one, because the arms can't really close up too much, and the head sculpt doesn't have the option of looking up. This is the best I can do, but be sure to make it balanced, or this would happen. Next up is the power pose. Simply do a Super Saiyan power up for the arms, let the ankles relax. The key of this pose is to bring the elbows all the way back, also spread the cape a little bit wider, so it looks better when it falls down naturally. 
As for DC just announced that Henry Cavill will return for another Superman movie, it's safe to say that we can wait a bit to see what other improvements Hot Toys can do. There's also the new Justice League Dark Superman and Batman 2-pack, which can be a good alternate since the price right now is not too ridiculous. Here are my ratings for the figure. Thank you for watching the video. Consider like and subscribe if you liked it. Comment below your thoughts of the figure and what figures you would like me to review. Until next time, peace.